Good afternoon, this is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. I am here at 6512 Farmdale Avenue, North Hollywood, and I am preparing to perform a video examination of the main sewer line system here on the property for Justin Taylor. Now, the main sewer line is the portion of the waste drainage piping that is exterior to the structures. It lies underground and connects the building drain line systems to the public sewer. The building drain line systems then are the portions of the waste drainage piping that would be underneath or interior to the structures. Our examination today is not focused on the building drain line systems, so if further evaluation is desired regarding those building drain line systems, a licensed plumbing contractor should be contacted, or a specialty building drain line video examination can be set up through our office. So I'm going to be beginning my examination today from a 3-inch clean-out access I found here at the rear right corner of the garage conversion. This is here next to this uh, outdoor shower pool area behind us. And around the corner here of the rear portion of the garage. So we'll drop in here and we'll push as far as we can from this location. We might get lucky and be able to get all the way to public sewer from here. Now it looks like what we're going to be pushing through is just one long primary uh, pipe with a number of pipes coming out of each structure dropping into this rather than uh, everything coming together under the building and then running out is one pipe probably alterations of the configuration of the system. So what we're pushing through is a modern ABS plastic piping. Now this type of piping does have a long service life expectancy. There's a very smooth inner surface which allows for really high washout capability. And uh, it's also intended to be impervious to roof versions. Trying to get the wind cleaned up here if we can. We're pushing through a fairly flat pipe. Now we're going through a section that's holding water a good inch and a half or so. And it does look like it's getting deeper. So the reason for this is because you have a uh, on-grade structure at the garage and a uh, raised structure that already had a uh, a line that was at a certain elevation or depth, and uh, you're running too far. You can't get the standard fall of, uh, in this case, on the main sewer line, the minimum fall requirement is a one quarter of inch per linear foot of pipe run. So we've got a lot of debris build up in here. And as we come around this corner, we've got some uh, pretty significant root intrusion in the clay line. You know, unfortunately, this is about as good as we're going to get with the camera lens being really dirty. Put some water on this pool bathroom. Yes, we have a sink there. See if we can get this area to clear up some. Apologize for the shaking back and forth. We're just trying to get the lens cleaned off here. All right, so root intrusions in a plastic pipe is considered to compromise the integrity of the, the system there. So this is something that would dictate repair. But uh, it's almost a moot point here because really the proper thing to do here would be to install. It's known as an ejection system since you don't have the proper fall in the drain line. That's really what's needed. 
we're just going to continue pushing until we get to a point where things are draining normally. And you may pull the camera back through this area. It's a better idea, but we want you in a belly after belly here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. We'll uh, push out the public sewer if we can get that far. And I'll uh, turn all the water off and report backwards.